everybody in here sitting here having my coffee on my front porch Ooh, the sun is already coming out and it's already starting to heat up but things are going great so I took a little footage last night and here it is one two three four five six all six are done time to move her to the box there she is oh, they're so tiny I think that's the newest one back there let me get a real good picture of them. Oh my gosh. I know. For now, I am just going to leave this right like this. I've got this blocked off. It's blocked off in the back. I've got water over here. I put the food up here. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this permanently. Um, I'm going to open this up and let her come and go as she pleases. But for right now, this is what we're going to do. Good girl, Miss Pris. I want to go see what Mama and Baby Chicks are up to this morning. There she is. I'm going to open this top. Oh, she's already teaching them to eat. We've got one, two, three, four, five. There's supposed to be a sixth one somewhere. Oh, I hope they all made it through. I wonder if she's taught them to drink yet. There's, there's the other one. Right underneath her. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Oh, they're just so cute. That one's got a little white underneath of it. I don't know which are going to turn out to be black Asians and which are barred rocks, if any. Oh my gosh, they're just so adorable. Well, I'm just going to let her do her thing. She doesn't have a lot of room in here. I mean, she can get up there. Technically, she could get underneath of there, too. But, um, well, we'll just figure it out as we go. She's teaching them to drink. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wonder if they're all come over. I'm sure she'll teach them all. And look at these. They are getting pretty big. Not quite as big as a full grown hens, but. And they're just pretty as ever. Look at Splash. What a pretty chicken. There's Olive. And Raven. And Rocky. What do you guys think? Rooster? Ah, I think it's a rooster. I'm going to give him some fresh water today. Sometimes I change it out twice a day because it gets so hot. <laughs> he was just making a sound when that bird was up overhead warning everybody. Look at Splash. What a gorgeous chicken. Good morning, Romeo. Come on, give us a cockadoodle-doo. I love him. You know what, Roxy? She's pecking at my feet, pecking at my dress. I've already fed you. One thing that I'd like to accomplish today is to make a little outdoor pen for the four Easter egg or chickens that are on the inside so I can bring them outside during the day because it gets sweltering hot inside that tiny house. I've been keeping fans on them though, so I think I got the material, so let's just see. I need to find a place. It's a start. I've just put it in this little corner here and used some of the other structures and stakes that were already there, and I am going to cover... <laughs> 
I am going to cover the top of it. I think I need to line this in bricks just to make sure nobody pushes out from underneath. Um, yeah, I even lined this in the small chicken netting so the, the little Easter eggers can't get out. What do you guys think? Yep, another redneck innovation. I just took this lovely tarp that is basically the perfect size that Miss uh, Margaret sent me, Margaret Heathcote, and I've just kind of attached it here and there, not everywhere. Um, this is just very temporary. I can pick it up and move it or do whatever I want to with it. I did make them a little roost down there, yeah, and I put a little stake right there in case the the top came down too low. So I'm going to go ahead and put some food and water in here and gather the cheeks up and bring them on out. Let's see here. They're all in. I guess Olive had to come and check them out. When I, I brought them out one by one in my hands, I figured that would be better for them. So they've got some shade. <laughs> I wish I had pulled this in the middle a little bit more. When I cover this over the top, it'll give them a little bit more shade, but that's okay. They don't have all their feathers, so if they get a little bit in the sun, it's not going to bother them too much. I think they're going to have fun. Aren't they cute? Just look at their faces. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're, these are going to be beautiful chickens. Now that one chicken, that big one, the first one that didn't come out of the shell right, it looked like it was going to be one of these. It'll be fun to watch them grow. Yeah, they got plenty of shade. I wish there was shade over here so I can watch them. I gotta go find me some shade and have a cold beverage. And these little things, they're so hungry. Always hungry. <laughs> Look at Rocky's chilling out underneath the van with Papa. We were just sitting down by him just a little bit ago. I think they're buddies. All of these chickens have been able to free range for about an hour. But do you know why they're not? Not a single one of them? Wait for it. Hear that? You guys know what that sound is? <laughs> There's a mama hawk up in a nest there. And I've heard her babies crowing too for about the last hour. Hmm. Rocky and Papa taking a little nappy poo right by each other. Too cute. Just got back from taking Papa and Hi for a ride in the nice cool truck and that was nice. He's back under the van as usual. Chickens are out free ranging except for the little chickens. They are still in the yard that I don't know what it is. They just didn't feel like going out free range and I guess it's too hot or whatever. The little baby chicks are doing great and Mama and baby chicks are also doing great. And I may open up that pen and let her start coming out and walking around on. I'm going to have to move that ramp over so the baby chicks can get in and out. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that all works. I may have to make some further adjustments. Oh, Rocky is back out. Yeah, he's so funny. He just likes to hang out my papa. Anyway, I did want to show you one thing that somebody sent me and I already opened it. So you don't get to see me go. Ch -ch. Anyway, Donna, when she had planned on coming down here, she has been working on some beautiful wood boards that I can make shelves out of. So uh, I didn't have any brackets. And so what she did, she ordered me brackets. Look at all of these brackets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sets of brackets. So I'm going to be able to get some shelves up. Um, I think they're coming like around the 1st of August. So hopefully we will get to get that going. Um, I may even be able to put the brackets up before they get here. Anyhow, so thank you so much, Donna. That is so thoughtful, and it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be awesome because I need shelves, especially over the kitchen area. So thank you. Anyway, um, you know what? I think I'm just going to water my plants, make a bite to eat, and try and stay cool. I've been drinking plenty of ice cold like beverages my little energy drinks and whatnot and they're they make me feel really good so <sighs> that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.